Hey there, Reaper. So, uh, first of all, welcome to X-Ray. Going to be really good having you on board. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on you. Your activity is looking good. Exactly what we need uh, in our team. Um, so, no, um, uh, obviously, I think you will go back to uh, to Fox. I do understand that. Uh, obviously, my job is to get you strong, and then yeah, you can go back to the uh, to the top tier. Uh, but at the moment, obviously, uh, we've got a little bit of work to do to get you uh, up to the uh, best you can be, and that's where we come in. So. First of all, um, the uh, spawn zone, if you look, is looking pretty good. Um, so that's working well. Remember, two and a half squares per building. So these are probably uh, less than that. So you could maybe thin that out a bit. Uh, you could maybe push these out a fraction into that corner there to push that even further back because that gives obviously uh, even more time for your, uh, your bases to spawn. Good to see the tanks in there as well. That's looking uh, stronger. Uh, and I'm liking the, the big turret there in the middle. That's going to give uh, excellent coverage. Um, I would suggest, though, that your base is still large. Um, I mean, if you think about what you need to protect inside your base, does the CC need to be in there? Possibly not. Um, does the um, helicopter need to be in there? Well, chances are no, because the helicopter will fly over the top of, so, you know, walls don't really sort of protect it. And again, you need to be thinking with the modern day attack of um, the uh, M270s and things along that sort of line, which I'll normally use. Uh, I'm, I'm just doing uh, crits at the moment, so obviously I'm just going for a, a strong attack on those. Um, but yeah, going all up and over is obviously how it works now. If I were attacking here, I'd probably still chance coming from this side, but I like quite uh, like where you've put your mine on there, because that does make things a little bit more interesting. And the Peacemaker's certainly covering um, the back of that, so that's good. Um, you potentially could be vulnerable on this side, but then you know you've you've thought of that through with the uh, with the howitzer, so that's excellent. Um, and then you know you've got the machine gun here but the machine gun is level four platform so that you need to be getting those up now to uh, um, you know five sixes and and beyond uh, as soon as possible so set that as a bit of a priority um, air defense is looking good uh, you're looking to get uh, obviously the missiles in there and obviously flat um, so that's excellent um, I would maybe suggest just one more peacemaker um, so you can kind of double up um, the peacemaker coverage is absolutely superb but when you're underneath that uh, whole ring there you can see obviously it kind of misses yes you would be picked up by other things but I'd maybe just maybe have another peacemaker possibly on this sort of side just so you've got kind of double whammy in a larger uh, surface area but I would I would personally move some buildings outside the base and get these walls so every single wall touches uh, around the big gap in the middle because if I if I'm over here for example obviously your your troops uh, your uh, tanks your um, uh, your infantry is going to come towards me or and obviously out through the gaps in the wall so if you close those gaps up then you tend to find that everything gets retained inside the wall which is is m much harder to beat um, I'm not quite sure the infantry uh, mines uh, are the right thing. I've, I don't attack personally with much in the way of infantry, um, so I would maybe get those changed to um, um, actually anti-vehicle mines. And I'd also be having to think of where you think the mines need to be as well. So you've got two here, so that would suggest that you think people are going to come from this side. Uh, but I mean, ultimately, if I come from this side, if I if I wanted to, I'd probably uh, have a tank about here, where number four is, and uh, so the salvo would lock on, and then I'd outrange uh, the railgun, and basically I'd use some sort of M two seventies to take out the railgun and the um, the um, the salvo. Um, and get away with that quite comfortably and the mines really I'm, I'm not I'm not personally going to come around that uh, rock outcrop and into your base that way um, and personally I'm not going to use infantry uh, on this side as well so, so what I would look at is if you imagine that between these two walls here for example where that um, where the um, oil pump is uh, there's there's a kind of root in there I'm not saying put one there uh, but that's where a root is if you place one in between those two rock outcrops again where roughly the oil pump is that's a way in that way because remember your, your spawn zones are quite far out um, 
if you were thinking, obviously your spawn zone's here, then your mine probably needs to be where number eight is there, for example. Um, and, you know, again, you've got a, a, a rock outcrop there and a rock outcrop there. So the way into the base is obviously between those two. Um, so maybe mine's roughly about sort of there, for example. Excuse my cat. Um, and again, you can see between those two um, uh, areas of rock building, there's, uh, there's an area there where mines could potentially be done so i'd be thinking about kind of where the um where the actual attack's going to come from and you know maybe position your mines accordingly um and yes i would certainly go for more sort of vehicle orientated uh, mines uh, than uh, troops uh, other than that looking uh, pretty good uh, so things certainly progress and I suspect your defence stats will uh, increase uh, as well as um, so yeah keep up the, the great work keep watching your attack replays uh, see where what people are coming up with uh, in, in their attack and then if you spot a single uh, a, a similar sort of theme coming through then obviously adapt uh, your base accordingly but my thought is yes yeah, certainly reduce it inside get a few of the buildings outside uh, that don't need to be in there and, and obviously make the base uh, that bit smaller and which obviously condenses the firepower and I think uh, that will be even better still. Cheers bro.